Hey class, today we're going to, I'm going to be reading the book, The Grouchy Ladybug, and it is written by Eric Carle, so he is the author, and the illustrations are also by Eric Carle, so he is the illustrator. And if you look again, all of his pictures are made with collages, and we have yet another book that is about an insect, because I think he must really like to write about insects and animals. Aphids are very, okay, it says, it was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. So, and then there's also, there's a little, um, there's a little information words over here that tell us about the pictures. So these little things are aphids. They're very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. Ladybugs eat aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I have dedicated this book. Three cheers for them. So it says, um, so let's start over again. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it, and we just learned that ladybugs likes to eat, like to eat aphids, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So I think this must be the grouchy ladybug. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want me to fight, or do you want to fight them? Or do you want me to fight you for them? Look, she says, good morning. And this one says, go away. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and it flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its digger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. I'm also noticing that at this page there are times. So it told us the time, and it's at 6 o'clock. Let's see what happens at 7 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Now it's eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. It's nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the lady, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Oh my goodness, what kind of animal is that? At 11 o'clock, it bumped in a, into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Ooh, I wouldn't want to fight with that. Oh, you're not big enough, said the late grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 o'clock, at 12 o'clock noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Now, I'm noticing something that as the animals get bigger, look, so does the print on each page. That's kind of interesting. So I am wondering 
what animal is going to come next? I'm sure it's going to be bigger, and I'm sure that the print's going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? You insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily, showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and she flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the lady, grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Oh my goodness, that's a big animal. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. What do you think the grouchy ladybug said? Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. What do you think the ladybug said? Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? What do you think the elephant says? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. And finally, what do you think the, the ladybug says again? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. <gasps> At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. <gasps> at 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. And guess what the new friendly ladybug said? You are welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. And that is the end. My class, I had a question. I wonder why that ladybug was so grouchy. I'm also wondering what makes you kiddos grouchy in your activities for the, for our author study for this, um, for this book. You are going to write about if you were a grouchy ladybug, what would make you grouchy? I hope you enjoyed this book.